Morning guys, uh, welcome to a winter wonderland. I'm out um, looking for winter wildlife today and uh, I spotted some field fairs um, along the hedgerows as I drove down. So uh, I'm going to tuck myself in and look for these uh, field fairs and any other birds that pop up. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic uh, environment. So um, field fairs are sort of a, a medium sized bird. They uh, migrate in from Scandinavia and Europe um, because it can get, we're, generally have milder winters here although it's cold winter this year I have to say and uh, they uh, to start with they eat all the sort of rowan berries and and any other sort of berries on the bushes and then later on they'll uh, they'll look for insects and stuff like that and then migrate back to Europe uh, Scandinavia and, and places like that um, early spring so winter is the time to find uh, field fairs red wings uh, those sorts of birds and occasionally we get a wax wings coming as well but um, that's um, on a, uh, a less regular basis. With waxwings you get an, an eruption every sort of few years and you get loads and loads and loads of waxwings coming but we haven't had that this year. But we always get field fairs and you always get red wings. Um, now I think it's field fairs that I've got along here, uh, I'll soon find out. Um, but yeah it's looking absolutely uh, fantastic because I've seen a whole flock and they're moving up and down the hedgerows so I'm going to be very very careful uh, I'm going to move up and down and be um, be really quiet and, and obviously uh, try and blend in with the environment even though I've got green on and it's a, it's a snowy uh, landscape but I'll take my time and move slowly and if that doesn't work uh, I'll use my car as a hide as well because uh, cars can make really really good photography hides because the animals are not really, they don't associate a car with danger. They associate people with danger, but not a car. So cars can be a really good mobile hide. And we've got hedgerows right up and down the road over here. And uh, excuse the noise uh, of cars in the background, we've got a very busy major road just over that way. So it just goes to show you can find wildlife literally anywhere. Um, it doesn't mind that there's a busy road over there. As long as there's food to eat and shelter, then it's fine. So um, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, wander up and down and see what I can find. Now I'm on um, F, uh, earlier I was on F4 because the light was really low. I've come up to F5.6 to give me slightly more depth of field. Uh, I'm on about a thousandth of a second um, so that I can freeze any motion of those birds moving around. Uh, and because they're in the hedgerows and that at the moment, I've dropped a single point AF so I can put one single point on the bird's head and hopefully, um, get them in focus because what I don't want is the AF picking up maybe some branches around the bird so um, yeah it's all good I'm gonna spend um, a good couple of hours I reckon up and down here and see if I can get some decent pictures of uh, field fairs so um, and anything else that I might notice so I'll speak to you soon guys hi guys I've just got some field fairs now they're not that close uh, but there's two field fairs in one of these bushes over here, one of this, uh, this hedgerow, and they were eating berries, and it's like a really nice landscape shot at the field fairs in the snow. Um, so as I say, they're not that close, but that's not a problem because it's, it's created a really nice shot, and then they, they've just flown off. And I'm not gonna follow them down because I don't wanna disrupt their feeding habits, um, and it's hard enough to get food at this time of year anyway, but that's just some great shots in the bag already. Um, now the light's quite soft, which is a shame. Uh, I'd like some directional sunlight on to give a little sparkle in the eyes, a little catch light. But you know, I've got field fairs in the snow in the winter. So that's great. And as I say, I'm on a F5.6, thousandth of a second, uh, ISO 400, uh, maybe 800, between 400 and 800 at the moment. So it's all good. I've got first field fair shots in the bag, winter wildlife going well. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. Hi right, guys, as you can see I'm in my car now and I've been using the car as a hide and it's worked really, really well. I've got some really close up shots of field fairs. Um, yeah, I was, I was driving along the uh, the road really slowly and I spotted the uh, the field fairs in the sort of the hedgerow. So I just wound the wind down slightly uh, or slowly 
pop the camera out and uh, and I've got some really close up shots so I've got field fairs in the snow um, and that's a almost a first for me you know um, I've, I've photographed field fairs in the past but these um, are decent shots you know nice close up shots of field fairs uh, again the light's really soft so I'd much rather directional sunlight if the sun pops out this afternoon I might come back and, and have another crack at it but it was better this morning because there are definitely more birds around when there's not so many people about um, and I've also got some pictures of a robin in the snow as well same sort of position um, driving along and just spotted the robin stopped the car dropped the window down and took some pictures so yeah it's been really great um, as I say because animals don't uh, associate cars with danger they make really good hides sometimes and uh, it's been you know a, a really good morning's photography and as I say I've got my closest pictures of the field fairs using this car as a hide uh, I've got some nice landscape shots of field fair on foot and uh, I'm going to put them on the end of this video as well as the shots of the close-up field fairs and the shots of the robin uh, but you know um, the closest shots were achieved using the car as a hide so I think that's so quite a good tip for wildlife photography really don't you rule out the car you know uh, because uh, if you're in a position where you can get close to the animals and I'm not saying you should drive all over the fields or anything far from it that would be uh, very very stupid um, not only would we get stuck but you cause a lot of damage um, but you know if you've got sort of uh, hedge roads by the road and you can safely stop you know there's not a lot of traffic and stuff around it makes a really really good way to take uh, close-up pictures of wildlife so yeah I will uh, speak to you soon guys but I've had a very very good morning and uh, you never know I might get a few more shots uh, this afternoon as well so I'll speak to you soon oh yeah um nearly forgot if you have liked uh, this video, if you can give it a like, a thumbs up, that'll be brilliant because it always helps my channel. And um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you know you like what you see, if you could consider subscribing, that'll be brilliant. And then last but not least, if you've got any comments about wildlife photography uh, or photography in general, just pop them in the uh, comments section below. So yeah, I'll speak to you soon, guys. I will talk to you on my uh, next video. Thanks very much for watching. As I mentioned earlier, uh, field fairs are a, a winter migrant, so they come into the uh, UK and Ireland and they overwinter here because we've got a milder climate. And uh, when they first come in, uh, they'll mainly feed on berries, so rowan, juniper, elderberries, hawthorn berries and even holly berries. And they're very mobile, they travel around in small flocks and once a food source is, has been exhausted, then they move on to the next one. So the best way to find field fairs, and indeed red wings, is to find a really good food source. So find a hedgerow that's got loads of berries, it's full of berries, and then set up there and hopefully you'll find some field fairs. And once you find one, you'll normally find quite a few because as I say, they travel in small flocks and then they move on to the next food source once that one's been exhausted. They will also eat insects and worms and stuff like that. In the um, uh, spring and summer, they don't stay in the UK. They move back to their uh, breeding grounds, which will be in Scandinavia and other parts of Europe. Um, we have maybe half a dozen, perhaps, um, field fairs breeding in the UK. If that, it's a really rare occurrence. But when they uh, move on to their breeding grounds, uh, as I say, in Scandinavia, um, they'll normally have five or six young and they'll, um, the female will incubate those for about 11 to 14 days and then both parents feed the chicks and they'll be fully independent after about 30 days uh, but as I say we don't uh, get any uh, really very small numbers of breeding in the UK but when it comes to the overwintering population it's quite big they're quite a common bird I think we have around about 720,000 a field fair that's just a field fair in the UK and we have a, a bigger number of red wings as well which I'll come on to later on in this video um, so yeah I think a field fairs field fairs are a fantastic bird uh, to photograph they've got uh, you know this grey sort of head with this speckled body and you know they're if you can get close to them they they look stunning especially in good light um, I think they're reasonably long-lived, some, some of the field fairs anyway. I think the oldest one has been um, clocked in at 18 years old. So um, they probably travel quite a few miles during their lifetime uh, coming from Europe to the UK and back again. Hi guys, it's uh, day three of uh, photographing field fairs and uh, I'm back in the car using my car as a hide and it's worked really well. So um, you've already seen on day one uh, I photographed field fairs um, and I, I got some good shots to be honest but uh, I, at the end of the day the light was a bit dull, it's very flat lighting and I really wanted to get the field fairs in good light but I have to say 
got some really nice shots. And then in the afternoon, because the field fairs disappeared uh, after a couple of hours and I didn't see them again. So in the afternoon, I went to a nature reserve literally just down the road from where I was photographing the field fairs. And uh, I was walking around, it was freezing cold, um, quite dull, but, but you know, okay. Uh, I was the, probably the only person there. And I walked for at least an hour right to the back of the reserve. And I had an absolutely amazing wildlife experience. There was a barn owl and it was ghosting across a winter landscape. So it was a snowy landscape. There's this barn owl was quartering the landscape, looking for prey. And um, I've, got some, I've got some pictures. Now it was reasonably distant, so it wasn't too close, but it was just absolutely fantastic. I had a marvelous wildlife experience. And uh, as I say, the, the pictures are not super close, but that doesn't matter because I've got a barn owl back lit because the, the sun came out. Uh, over ghosting over a winter landscape so i was really really pleased and then yesterday i came out and i got some fantastic field fair pictures again uh, using the cars to hide the light was better it was still uh, flat lighting but it wasn't um as dark and dull as it was the day before so i'm really really pleased with those pictures and then what i've decided to do because it's really sunny today i thought i really want to get the field fairs in good light you know really nice directional sunlight and um I've got a couple of shots at the moment, but there's less berries uh, on these sort of these bushes now, so they're coming in nowhere near as uh, often as they were on uh, the first day or yesterday, in actual fact. Uh, but I've got a, a few um, field fairs in the bag. I'm going to wait for at least another two or three hours. So as they're not coming in so often, I'm just going to have to spend more time to get the shots. But what I've also got is a red wing. It came in perched on a branch and then came down and had a little hunt around on the uh, on the ground so um, I was hoping for field fair and I've got a red wing as well so it's all good now the thing is um, with this type of photography it's just about persistence um, I'm having to um, be really really patient because the field fairs and the red wings uh, but certainly the field fairs are really really nervous birds and even though I'm in the car if I move the lens a little bit too quickly they're off uh, and if I wanted to move the car up and down uh, to try and sort of change my, um, even if I drove really slowly to change my camera position, again, they would be off. So what I've done is picked an area where I've got a fairly wide view, both left and right, and then I can gently move my camera around and my lens around to sort of focus on, on the field fair when they came, come in. But it is difficult. They're really, really nervous birds. There's no way you can sort of walk up to them. So the car is a really good option for um, getting pictures. Now, I'm not only am I using my 600mm lens today, I've also got the 1.4 converter on, so I can stay uh, a fair distance away. So, um, yeah, um, I hopefully I'll get a few more pictures now, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Um, just before I go, if you have enjoyed this video and you haven't already subscribed, if you can consider subscribing to my channel, that, that would be great. Uh, if you've got any, um, any comments, please put them in the comments section below. And obviously, if you can give this a like, that would be great. The little thumbs up would be brilliant. It helps my channel at no end. Um, oh, yeah, and if you do subscribe, uh, press the bell notification, uh, and then you'll be told when my next video is uploaded. So, yeah, I'm having... A, a really good time again today but I'm having to be much more patient because uh, the, um, the birds coming in are a lot more uh, sporadic so it's about patience and also taking real care and being really slow and careful when I'm actually taking the pictures and again because I'm using mirrorless body now it's a lot quieter which is also really good so yeah I'll uh, speak to you soon guys thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you on my next video but what a cracking day again
Red wings are absolutely beautiful birds. Um, if you look at this red wing here, you can see it's got this lovely speckled plumage. It's got a creamy white stripe above the eye. That's a very good way to identify field fares. And if you can see it, um, and it's not always visible, they've got this patch of red underneath the wings and on the flanks. And uh, on a picture coming up, you'll see that patch of red. And in good light, they just absolutely glow. Beautiful birds. Uh, they're the same as field fares uh, in as much as they overwinter in the UK. There is a very tiny amount that sometimes breed, but it's so small numbers. Um, it's mainly a winter migrant. And we have many hundreds of thousands of red wings um, coming in sort of November time, October, November, and leaving sort of April. Uh, beginning of the spring and they feed on similar things to uh, field fare so all the berries and then uh, later on in the season uh, as it's getting towards uh, the end of the winter they'll feed on uh, earthworms and, and insects and stuff like that um, so yeah they're, they're fantastic looking birds uh, they migrate in from obviously um, mainland Europe Scandinavia uh, northern Europe but we also have some come into the UK from Iceland and the Icelandic ones are normally a bit darker uh, and they overwinter in Scotland whereas the ones from Scandinavia they overwinter in southern England um, so as I say they don't breed in this country uh, they breed in, in their breeding grounds uh, in Scandinavia or Iceland um, but generally uh, the female lays four to five eggs in a, in a small round uh, nest or cup and they'll be incubated I think for about um, 10 to 12 days and then uh, both the male and the female uh, will feed uh, the young although what happens sometimes is the female will leave the male in the latter stages and then go off and start a second brood so it you know it does vary uh, from um, uh, pair to pair but yeah they're, they're absolutely uh, fantastic birds again they will uh, they travel around in small flocks so they're very mobile so again you need to find a decent food source and set up there in order to photograph field fairs and the sort of habitats they frequent will be the same as field fairs in as much as hedgerow, hedgerows and stuff like that but you'll also find them in orchards because they do like uh, fruit that's fallen on the ground apples and things like that and you will find uh, red wings in gardens as well so you know there are probably um, a fairly common bird uh, to be spotted in gardens and uh, more so than the field fairs I think uh, but yes yeah, stunning birds absolutely brilliant now last but not least um, I did mention earlier in this video about a brilliant wildlife encounter that I had uh, watching a barn owl and I've got some lovely pictures from that encounter and a tiny little bit of video but I think as this uh, vlog has gone on for quite long enough now I think what I'll do is probably make a separate smaller video just about the barn owl so um, thanks very much for watching and uh, I will speak to you on my next video